Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. We had so much fun last week unboxing the aliens. This time it's War by Leading Edge. There'll be a, a link to it somewhere. Uh, <laughs> decided to carry on with Aliens on Sunday. And this time we are going to go through the RPG Alien, the Colonial Marine Guide. Now, I did do the start box set and the main core book which was basically for cinematic play. As you can see, it's a beastie book. It's by Free, Le Free A League Publishers. In this side one, you get 352 uh, pages, which include the history and organization of the illustrious USCMC, creating a marine character, weapons and vehicles, the frontier war, fractions on the frontier, marine missions, and an end game. You must have the core rulebook to play this. So, the starter set was basically cinematic. The core book lets you run a campaign. And then this one lets you run a campaign as Marines or do a cinematic game as the Marines. And look at that. Open straight up to a beautiful map. Anything in this dark blue is the United Americas. The purplies are the frontier. Then you got the Union of Progressive, Progressive People. You got the Free World Empire in green, and then the Independent Core Systems. So basically, when the superpowers spread out, they claimed everything that they wanted for themselves. So the Union of Progressive People, if I remember correctly, is Russia, China. Um, I think it's Russia and China. Then the Free World Empire is Britain, Japan. Uh, the United America is America. The independent colonies are their own thing. I just can't remember if Europe fell under the Free World Empire or the Union of Progressive People. Maybe you guys could let me know. Or we'll find out whilst we're reading through the book. It's beautifully made. Nice shiny paper, so I'm going to try and watch out for reflections. Welcome to the corpse. I love the artwork in these books. I'll probably never play the game, which is sad, I know. But just the sheer quality of this is beautiful. So it talks about hypersleep, indigenous life forms, invasive species, the dark horizon, keeping rumors under control. Then we go into the history of the marine corp. Talks about what was before the Wayland era, growing pains as the Americas formed and the corpse was created. A full on timeline, which we are not going to go through, but I'll leave it like this for a minute. So if you want to pause and try and get the camera to focus, there we go. Pause, you can probably have a read through all that. Talks about Declaring losses, the news, corporate bailouts, problem with androids. It just goes through the whole timeline for you. Biological warfare, conflicts in the core, the police battle for the Chinese arm. This is going to take some reading. Uh, the Rim Award expansions. Look at that. That is a beautiful picture. The artwork is just stunning. Uh, War at Home, Fanatical Frontiers. The Cold War Intensifies, Frontier... Oh. There we go. Frontier War. See, that's the, the classic Marine... Oh, oh. A little space station and Marine ship flying off on top. We then get into the Marine Corps, the USCM. Talks about where they're operating. A platoon makeup and section. This is quite fun. We could uh, maybe try and make a whole platoon at some point. Fire teams, rifle teams, gun teams, recon teams, support team, tactical teams, and the command team. 
Then we have other military branches. So you have your assault teams in the chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear defense fire teams. There's the commanders, the aerospace, the Canadian colonial armed forces, and that specialize in amphibious warfare, surface dominance in planetary security and defense, the Latin American colonial navy, and then the outer rim defense fleet. You also got the colonial marshals, the FBI, uh, the United American colonial guard, which I guess kind of reserve forces there you go it says underneath and then the coast guard that deal with interstellar customs and trade forces of the free world empire you've got the royal marine commandos the imperial armed space forces the icisc and corporate forces you've got the Weyland yutani commandos the central space consortium private military contractors UPP Armed Collective, so that's the um, Union of Progressive People. They have, oh, it's written right up there, just look at the next page, John. God's sakes, you meant to be a professional. Union of Progressive People's Army, Space Operating Forces, the Ministry of Space Security. A little Marine at rest. Then we finally get in to creating our Marine. So the basics, you have to pick what kind of speciality they're going to be. Attributes, talents, and skills. So they can be a AFV Marine. When the squad gets itself in the shit, you are the one who has to come bail them out. So the armored fighting vehicle crew. You could be a rifleman with a smart gun, a salt marine breacher, a comtech marine, a CBRN specialist. So you deal with chemicals, a marksman, dropship crew, Hospital corpsman, a forward observer, or a rifleman. I feel like most people would pick riflemen. The other ones might be too, too intense. Uh, oh, nice. You can roll up some random events that then get some new talents added in. Things like team leader. Talks about the gear you get. I won't go too in depth because there's so many pages. Then we get a whole chapter on the gear. So weapons, you got your pistols. That Wayland pistol looks cool. Uh, a little bit about rifles. Heavier weapons. Uh, rocket launchers and explosives. Chemical weapons. Suits and armor. And uniform. Protective gear. Body armor. Wow. Goes on and on and on. Other equipment. Uh, then we get into the vehicles, so we got armoured personnel carrier, air defence armoured personnel, beautiful picture of some crazy ass vehicle, that looks like the 6x6 heavy armoured multi-purpose vehicle, and there's a hover tread, stinger, fast attack vehicle, that looks like a little doom buggy, even get tanks in here, oh my days, I don't think you'll ever want to have a tank. Um, then there's artillery guns, drop ships, attack crafts, look at all this, it just goes on forever. Uh, that looks like a Valkyrie from 40k, but that must be the attack drop ship. Got aerospace fighters. Wow, you could really go all out on this if you wanted to. Spacecraft. Talks about what type of spaceships you might get. A little bit of fluff on all the different vehicles. If you're into if you're into fluff, you should get this book. Uh, so this is the Mantis, the Kremlin. That is <laughs> terrifying looking. The classic EUS CMC. Then you get a few pages on the campaign. Talks about landing a team in, dealing with logistics, the interior of a ship. That is a lovely blueprint. So much detail in these books. 
uh, talks about the different sections and staging areas if you really wanted to go hardcore onto the spaceship, dealing with casualties, dealing with procedures with NPCs in combat and vehicles and what have you, being ambushed, dealing with missions, there's assault missions, recon, defense, sabotage, combat patrol, search and rescue. Peacekeeping the bug hunt. Everybody loves a bug hunt. This would be a DM's dream. Just just going through this. Creating a whole whole mission. Like there's even downtime events. Dealing with food and ration. I think a really good DM could have a lot of fun with this book. It's very different from the core rules. So your core rules, you're dealing with civilians. So at best, you might have a security guard. Very rare you'd have a marine in those ones. They're meant to be your space truckers. They've come across something that's gone wrong. It doesn't even have to be an alien involved. It could be that the ship's about to blow up because they've messed something up and you've got to try and save everyone. Whereas this one is very combat orientated. Talks about different space systems and what lives there. Artwork is just stunning in this book. Frontier regions. Gives you a, gives you a system and then a little bit of fluff that you could design a game around. They're not giving you the rules. Or a way to play it. They're just hinting heavily at what you could do. Uh, I think that's the Berserker suit. He's blasting uh, Xenomorphs. Artificial Womb Soldier Program. So you could have a clone soldier. The Berserker Program. I think that's what we just saw in that picture. Spears. He is... Um, hang on, hang on. Okay, this character, I'm pretty sure, is based off uh, the second novel. I'm pretty sure there's a Colonel Spears in that who tries to create an army of xenomorphs. I think that's who that's based off. Project Berserker, again, that was another book in the novel series that I have. So cool, it's just like a giant armoured suit. Project Life Force... The Dark Star program. The Xenomorph programs, of course, they're doing stuff with Xenomorphs. Bio drones, the Gore Buster. So these are terrifying, weird versions that they're growing in labs, I guess, in the war against the other races. And then we got the Frontier War. Got a little space battle going on between, looks like, the Union and the US. So you could probably just have straight on Marine versus Marine War if you wanted to. Talks about how this could all work. How to kick off your campaign. You need to use mission briefings. And then we're only on, like halfway through the book Operation Dream so this is a full campaign so we're not going to give away too much in case you guys want to play it got a few character cards an engineer oh it's just so much generic NPC stats so you got Outer Rim Colonists Marshals Killers, insurgents, cult fanatics, terrorists, security forces. Won't go through all of them. And then some ready to go missions by the looks of things. But you could just move your team through if you didn't want to make up your own stories. Looks like there's a wreck to explore. Crash landed in a thicket of trees. Oh, look at that. Go into, I guess that's a spaceship, deck A, medical frigate. Wow, 
So they've got a whole mission in here that you can uh, play through, which I assume at some point there's going to be aliens. <laughs> like, why else would you buy this book if there's no aliens? Talks about mother. Mother knows best. Got a little colony. Just goes on. Right, we'll probably quickly flick through these last ones. Just to make sure we don't miss anything fun. But this is all DM stuff to run a campaign. So I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, and that is the book. It is a beautiful book. 354 pages of magic. It's even got a little uh, bookmark here. Didn't even notice that when we were flicking through. Oh, there you go. I had it on the blueprint page. Oh, weird. Wrapped around. There we go. So there. It's not cheap. It's not a cheap book in any way, shape or form. I think you're probably looking around 50 Canadian for it. But for me, as an avid alien collector, it's worth it for the fluff that I'm going to get from it. And I can't wait to dive deeper into the other alien goodies I've got around. Next week's probably going to be a painting video because I've got a few miniatures we got to get through. But I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's something you want to see more inside. And I will do a uh, follow-up video for you. But until then, cheers for watching and bye-bye.